Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Uh, just to finish up on the uh, raspberry question, mm-hmm. yes. uh, the, we also had a question uh, Char wanted to know. Uh, what can I do to minimize weeds around oh, the, those right. plants? Right. Forgot about that. Uh, Char, I'm going to just simply wish you good luck, and then I'm going to tell you what I think will help, but probably not be absolute. And that is a, a good thorough cleanup of the area before you sp- add the compost and so on. Hopefully the compost is cured enough that it won't have viable weed seeds in it. Then uh, I would... I think you said a 40-foot row, and that row should be, my my opinion, should be mulched three to four feet wide. In other words, off-center both ways, and then to continue them down the row or rows, whichever. Uh, I have had good luck with the product Preen, P-R-E-E-N. Preen chemically has been around for a very long time it was formerly and this is good bit formerly uh a, the best of the crabgrass controls well there are better crabgrass controls but preen carries on as a garden weed interrupter and and i i put it that way it will stop the germination of I guess, any seed from what I'm told, but then it depends on how deep it is, uh, how fresh the preen is and so on. But it's going to keep give you an 80% run of, of um, let's just say, ability to control things. When you do pull a weed or kill a weed under the raspberries, and I don't see any reason why you can't use uh, a, a, well... A properly blended shot of Roundup, just as long as you don't touch the raspberry, and just hit the grasses or other other types of weeds, uh, being cautious that it's not a windy day, all these good things. I think you can do that. The preen, and then after the preen is down, uh, and, and before hopefully any weeds get growing, you can mulch it. Now, you can use any of the good mulches, but I think you could also, when you're dealing with a 40-foot row like that, uh, and, and, uh, well, uh, I I think straw. And in this case, where if you're putting straw down on a lawn area expecting germination, you want to be able to look straight down at your feet and see soil. And then as you look out across the way, it's, it's, you know, completely covered. In this case, now you're going to go the opposite. When you look down at your feet, you want to see about three inches of straw that will then bed down with water and uh, walking and et cetera, that is rain. And you will get, I think, quite a ways. Now, straw also will bring in some weed seeds that hopefully the preen will work on, and then you may have to manufacture uh, uh, or set aside a couple of hours for weeding here and there. But that's the way I would tell you to go on that. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. Circle270media.com.